As soon as my husband told me about the Immunotherapy Institute, I went online and watched the videos and I was immediately captured. I said, okay, there's been people that have been here and it looks like an amazing place. You can see they had stage three, stage four cancer and now they're better and they're feeling great. And I was immediately sold by watching the testimonial videos. We, we told her oncologist at UT Southwestern back home, um, who was our, that was our first opinion, you know. And oh man, she was, um, she called Sarah and, well, Sarah called me afterwards and she's crying, talking to me about, <laughs> Sarah just kind of had to lay into her because she just was like, do not go to Mexico. It's not safe. You don't know what they're gonna do to you there. Um, it's, you know, it's not safe. And Sarah's just thinking, and of course I'm right there with her. You say, this thing isn't safe and you know nothing about it. You literally know nothing about this place. She didn't even ask the name of the place or the doctors or anything. She knew nothing about it. And yet she told us, do not go there. It's not safe. Meanwhile, we know for a fact that chemotherapy, the, the drugs that she's recommending are not safe. We know 100% of the time that it is not safe for your body to go through chemotherapy. Yeah, people do get put into remission, but in the process, you know, they're turned into you know, temporary zombies. Um, and it has horrible long-term side effects. It can cause heart uh, diseases. It, you know, it can actually cause you to have leukemia. That was one of the potential side effects. It's like, okay, you're giving me a drug that can give me more cancer, potentially. Um, and you say that's safe. Um, clearly you're recommending this very unsafe treatment and telling us this thing that you know nothing about is unsafe. So uh, Sarah was very, very upset by that and of course I was too. So we knew that CAR T cell therapy is this new but not so new amazing option for third line treatment in the US and Canada. Um, However, I had not been through any chemotherapy. I did not want to do that. So finding out that that was an option here was amazing. Having CAR-T here was so much easier than I thought it would be. Um, I had a friend that had gone through chemo and gotten CAR-T in the US and had a hospitalization and I've heard of people having complications, but here it was so easy. For CAR-T, they took out my blood, not a ton. They took out some of my blood on a Tuesday. And then when I got the blood back, I just got it through an IV. It took 17 minutes to get my cells back. And then I had three shots on different days. And I haven't had any extreme side effects. I was just a little bit tired one day. And I know there's a variety of side effects that you can have, but I felt really good since getting my cells back. and. It was a little scary. That was honestly the thing I was most scared about was just getting my cells back towards the end of the treatment and what that would feel like, how my body would feel, and I haven't had any major symptoms. So there's two things that stood out for us in deciding to come here because we did consider one other place um, in Mexico, um, but this was the only place that had CAR-T and that was the biggest one for us because that was the one that we knew um, for, um, you know, if you have lymphoma, uh, many types of, of leukemia, or multiple myeloma, like CAR-T cell therapy is just the way to go. I've never spoken with a doctor like Dr. Perez. This is brilliant man and a wonderful teacher. In my conversations with the other oncologists, every doctor that we've met with, I'm very, um, I ask a lot of questions um, because I, I see it as part of my research um, in talking with them. And so I'm asking a lot of questions and trying to advocate for my wife as best as I can. And there's a dramatic difference in my conversation with every other doctor that we talk to and Dr. Perez, a dramatic difference. You can tell that this man is a one of a kind world-class physician um, and also a wonderful teacher. Um, 
because he made sense out of everything. Whereas when I'm talking with the other doctors and asking my questions, I can see these obvious logical holes in what they're trying to say. You know, for example, we asked one of our oncologists uh, previously um, about the role of, of sugar in feeding the cancer. And she said, oh, it has nothing to do, sugar has nothing to do with cancer. I said, if sugar has nothing to do with cancer, then why, when you're doing the scans, do you feed the body glucose? She said, well, it's to activate the cancer cells to make them light up. I said, so you're telling me that glucose, i.e. sugar, activates cancer cells. And yet you're also telling me that sugar has nothing to do with cancer and growing cancer? And she had no answer for me. It's like so many, there were so many examples of things like that where these there's these obvious major flaws in their understanding because they have such tunnel vision to this is what the pharmaceutical companies gave me and so this is what we give. Um, and also, they don't talk about any sort of dosage, right? So it's like, um, you know, my, uh, you know, 34-year-old uh, fit wife um, is going to get the exact same dosage as, you know, a 400-pound man or as an, you know, 85-year-old frail woman. You know, they're going to give everybody the same. Um, it has nothing to do with who you are. It's just like, oh, you've been put into this box and so you get this. But when we're talking with Dr. Perez, it's everything is about Sarah. It all comes back to about Sarah. And we had to really reshape our worldview, our perspective to, to understand better so that we could ask the right questions because they're coming at it from a totally different perspective of it's not about the cancer, it's about Sarah and what's happening inside of Sarah. Every, every time I asked a question, he had a wonderful response that helped me understand deeper what they were going to do, what's going on inside of Sarah, and how these treatments are going to be effective. Dramatic difference in the world-class physicians that we spoke to at the best cancer hospitals in the world versus Dr. Perez. It's, he's, he's just on a whole nother level. He was just so confident and he answered all my questions so well and I could tell that it wasn't just an answer to check the box. It was an answer out of the wisdom of treating many cancer, pa many cancer patients and knowing that I was concerned and understanding that the information he was telling me was truly important to me making a decision and feeling comfortable with moving forward with CAR T cell therapy. The doctors and staff here have been very kind, very understanding. Um, like today, I was having questions with Dr. Alfonso about nutrition and implementing that and how it specifically helps my body to create an environment where cancer will not want to be. And he had the time to explain thoroughly to me why avoiding certain allergens can help your immune system function and work better. And in the U.S., um, my doctors never would talk with nutrition about me. I was curious if that was something that was part of the whole picture in creating um, uh, an environment that was less apt for cancer to form or come back. But the U.S. doctors would just say, nothing's been proven about nutrition, so we're not going to talk about it. And that was really hurtful um, because... I know that I feel better when I eat some kind of food versus another kind of food. Like in the US, I just felt like doctors wouldn't even talk about stuff that wasn't revolved specifically around the cancer. And here they understand that diet and nutrients um, are related to your health and your well being and how you feel and your immune system and fighting the cancer. So here I love how there's this integrated approach of the nutritionist helping you understand what to avoid, what kind of things are gonna make you feel your best and help your body keep the cancer away. The whole medical team here, I don't wanna give just credit to Dr. Perez. I know that Dr. Perez has really shaped the, the structure and the foundation of uh, the whole you know, medical practice here. Um, but, you know, Alfonso um, you know, and Alejandro and every doctor that we've met with, every nurse that we've worked with is just 
wonderful. These are world-class physicians. If you or a loved one would like to get more information about CAR T cell therapy, please visit us at immunotherapyinstitute.com or click on the link in the description.